Whoop! Hi guys, this is your boy Martin from martinthevlogger.com slash shop, so the largest European shop for Canon Spider and Riker aftermarket parts. And today we have another quick installation video, or basically the installation video, because we will be removing side panel of the RT20 Plus. And you know, you need it a lot quite, uh, when you are installing, let's say, pedal box, or you need to change the shocks, or you like to play around LEDs, or even these went girls. I mean, like if case you would like to install those, you just need to remove the side panel. So somebody, it can be a little bit tricky, kind of, and many are like afraid if they will not break anything or whatever. So this video will definitely help you. Now very quickly, three things, because in 2022, there are no video ads on my YouTube videos. How cool is that? Two, no bullshit like this. So uh, no bullshit around straight to the point. And three, actually become a member of martinthevlogger.com. So just go on my website, click register, because every time you will know what the hell I'm doing. So that's a fun, cool thing. And two, actually all of the posts on my, my uh, vlog, it's basically a written vlog with a video. They contain a timeline, okay? So you can, if you, are, if you are there, you can actually click on whatever part of the video with the description and you will see only that part of the video. How cool is that? Now, enough of this. Oh, and by the way, I'll be sharing some super cool news around August, September, and it's about Rotex Factory and visiting them in 2023. Like, you can visit them. So, enough of this. Let's get started. Okay, how all of this goes is that we'll remove one side panel, the other one, and the last one will go the main panel. This is the day installation, how it goes. So first, what you will need to do, push and rotate clockwise, open your seat area. And this panel, it has written pull. So guess what? We will just pull. Now, uh, of course I will start right where it says it's pull. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult for me because I'm doing the video for ya. Uh, I will be standing on this side, it's much easier of course. Now, a couple of advices. I'm around Spider since 2015 and I did a lot of installations. This is a brand new bike. Okay, that means those panels were not off before. So they hold together much be better like because they are not loose. It doesn't mean I will be using more force. What I will be using is that I will try to put my hands on various places, trying to lose the areas, okay? Later on, the plastics will be able to, you will be able to remove them much easier. But now these days, I will be trying to find the way like where to remove them, you know, like going alongside the panel. This is not a good example, but this can be a great example. Like, you know, it's a bigger panel. That's my first advice. Two, in case you are doing this in the winter, be a little bit more extra careful because in the winter, the plastics has bigger tendency to break. I'm not saying the sp spider has pretty decent plastics. It's not a Riker, but still be a little bit more careful in case your room uh, it's not heated, okay? Uh, all right, I really need to go around because I don't want to break anything. Now, as you can see, hopefully you can see it. Those are the pins that will be there, all right? They're sitting in the holes like this. It's six holes. Now, maybe additional one more tip. I'm not never trying to really like pull, pull from the bike. What I'm trying to do is actually um, I'm pushing against the bike. So I'm putting my fingers like this, putting the remaining fingers under the plastics, and I'm trying to kind of push against uh, the bike. That way it's a little bit less kind of pressure on the plastics. No more advices, because sometimes people don't like to hear just bullshit comments, right? All right, next one, it's, it's this one. And it, again, it holds on a, uh, as this one, the smaller one, all right? Now, again, same rule, brand new bike, it will hold a little bit tighter, all right? So I'm just grabbing it, I'm starting right over here, where is the space, putting my hand there, if it's not working, going a little bit further, there you go, and that's it. Now I have this loose, and the remaining part will be quite easy. There is actually a hook, two hooks, right over here, all right? So it's like this, can you see it? There are two hooks. So when I will be returning it, actually I will hook it up first and then I will put the remaining parts there. So that's kind of a difference. 
and removing this panel. All right, so the last part is to really <laughs> remove the, the panel. It's one big ass panel that we need to <laughs> remove. And first, it holds on, on three T30 uh, screws, which is one is here, second and third. We need to remove those. That's and three push pins. Now, two watts push pins, I'm, I'm always giving you the same advice. I use the push pin removal tools. Uh, I have both of these on my shop. I'm also using both of these because sometimes I need this uh, kind of, you know, spy the thief one. Sometimes I need this one. Uh, and also I'm selling them with 20 extra push pins. Don't use screwdrivers because, I don't know, it's just painful sometimes to remove it and you are damaging your bike and, and push pins. Now, in terms of this, uh, the panel holds here as four kind of like pins that they go inside. My advice is if you need to remove both sides, for instance, because of the shocks, you will be removing shocks. Do one side, return it, and then do the other one. Why? Because this middle part will be then loose if you remove both side panels. And I don't like it because then you need to narrow it and, you know, play much more about it. Second reason why I don't like to remove both parts is because at the same time is because even after a long, long time me playing around spiders, I like to check if everything it's, it fits, you know, so I can compare both sides. Okay. Maybe just a tiny tip, but maybe it's a useful. So we will have four pins here. I'm pretty sure there are two pins here and something will hold right over here. And then, so first we will push against the bike right over here, trying to lose this, lose this. So trying to play around, you know, again, gently. And then at the end, we will uh, pull it or, or push it that direction because we have this teeth in here and we just need to remove it. It's not difficult, take your time, all right? Okay, I'm not doing everything always as, as I would be normally doing without recording the video, but you know, just just pulling it a tiny bit. All right, it's nice and loose. See? So going going further now, it must be somewhere over over here. Okay, this, those are loose. Now, you see, again, my finger inside and pushing it against the bike, okay? So that one was there, 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 and there. And now it's, it's loose, so I'll try to move you again. Dobry, krasny dzień. Guys, this is, this is it, okay? A uh, couple more tips, and actually write me into the comments if you hate me to saying tips or you like it. Uh, I'm just curious. So, uh, one thing, find a proper place. It's a big ass plastic. You don't want it to, to fall down and, and be damaged or you stepping on it. Trust me, been there, done that, okay? So find, this is not a proper, proper place, all right? Now, also when you are removing it, when you are sliding the plastic, just remove the direction and the angle how the plastic was. Just try to just try to memorize it, because it's it's gonna be the same angle as you're gonna put it back on. All right. Now putting it back on, it's not really tricky, but what's the most trickiest part is first of all just slide this in. That's the one thing, and the second thing is you will need to hear that all of the pins will actually be on its place, and you need to hear that they click that they are inside in the correct place. Now, how I usually start when I'm putting everything back together is that, of course, I, I slide the panel in, 
I try to look at these bolts if they are narrow, if when I will be putting the screws in, if they are on the correct place. I look here if these push pins are narrow, okay? And then I start here. So I slide the plastics in. Uh, then I need to hear uh, where they are. Two pins are here, I need to hear them. I need to hear those three to be on its place. Sometimes I need to, uh, you know, the plastic will be here. Or sometimes it's, this is on top of the plastic. So you need to put it underneath of it, put it back in and you need to hear it. All right. And again, it's a great thing that you have that side still on because you can check everything. If everything is like not shaking the same way, if everything is on this correct place and stuff. Guys, this is pretty much it. Stay tuned because the, one of the reasons is the shock why we have removed it and there is an installation video about that. There is an installation video about the sway bar and we will be doing the pedal box. And uh, uh, yeah, when the grills and everything. So all of the installation videos plus everything about this sea to sky, what we have done to it for a customer. Stay tuned, Martin the Vlogger. Check my shop, martindevlogger.com slash shop. Become a member, register and yeah, remember, always have fun and don't break any plastics.